Hi there. I'm Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. I'm a soul sculptor. I help you overcome the past trauma to live a happy life of your dreams. And today I'd like to talk to you about the job that sucks, the relationship that sucks, uh, the life that sucks, whatever it is. Here's the thing. My daughter called me last night and, and this is what is, has inspired me to do this post today. When we complain, bitch, moan about our life, our circumstances, our job, what we are doing is creating a downward spiral of doom. Yes, it's a downward spiral of doom. You can call it a DSD instead of a DSW, women. Um, so what, is, what does that mean? It means that every negative thought that we think attaches to another, another negative thought maybe in your workplace or in your household and it takes you down into this spiral that is never ending and until oops until you end up changing your tune and changing um the way you think and feel your perception your focus nothing's going to change so um well, here's the thing. I teach manifestation. What we look at, what we focus on, what we think about, what we say creates our life circumstances. So let's just say, I'll take myself for example. If I was to focus on, oh wow, you know, my stomach isn't as flat as it used to be. Boy, oh boy, is my stomach ever fat. Boy, oh boy, I seem to keep getting fatter and fatter every day. And you know what's going to happen? I will get fatter and fatter every day. How about this instead? Wow, you know, I am so youthful, healthy, and alive. And every single day, my body, my health, and my life get better and better. The universe supports me in all ways. Everything in my life improves on a daily basis. I am so enamored with life. I'm so grateful to be alive. I saw hearts there. I'm so grateful to be alive. Thank you for my vibrant health. Thank you for this beautiful body. Thank you for these lovely muscles that have great memory and know exactly what to do and go back into shape perfectly. Thank you so much for my health thank you for this job so so if we're unhappy with our life circumstances if you don't like your job here's the thing do you have healthy boundaries if you don't you better get some <laughs> and i've got blog posts to help you but i also am willing to do a free coaching session with you to get you focused on what your goals are to have you looking in the right direction and yes i do coaching every day to help you live a better life. I changed my life from a life of misery, from trauma and drama, addiction and, uh, you know, codependency, fibromyalgia, you name it, I had it all, depression, anxiety, and I healed it all. So I know how to do it. I know how to help you get there. And, and I'm going to give you three steps right now to help you today with a shift of focus. So the, the thing of it is, is that if we have a job, thank you, I have this great job. You've got to be grateful for what you have. Now, if you want to change your circumstances and you are tired of working where you work, then get your resume cleaned up, shiny, sparkly clean. Get it ready and start sending it out. Start looking for that new job. But don't let your attitude tank so that you end up getting fired in the process because your attitude sucks and it infects everybody else in your workplace because our attitude is contagious. Have you ever noticed the happier that you are, the happier that people are when they meet you, they smile when they meet you, and yet if we walk around with a our, our head down and oh you know my life sucks and my husband's a dick and you know whatever negativity that we could have in our in our mind we are going to attract more negativity to us so we've got to focus 
on what it is we want one thing at a time. So get crystal clear. What do you want? I want to improve my health. Okay, so the number one step to improving your health is focusing on how can I easily and effortlessly have the life and health of my dreams? Okay, step one, drink more water. Two, get to bed early. I, I will be more careful about what I eat instead of eating uh, sugary foods and, and, and uh, substances that I know are not good for me. I'll put that red wine aside. I won't drink that beer. I will instead reach for a green smoothie drink. I will have a protein drink. I will eat vegetables and, and high, highly um, energetic foods that are filled with light, vegetables and fruits and healthy food. So when we turn our focus onto the positive, focus on what it is you want as opposed to what you don't want, you want to put that behind you, and focus on where do you want to go right now where do you want to be not tomorrow where would you like to be today how would you like to feel today and start focusing on that because when we feel that feeling of having what it is we want we get it so much faster we have to be responsible for ourselves take a deep breath when we're responsible for ourselves, we become more disciplined with our eating habits, with our exercise, with our yoga, doing it every day, meditating every day, writing every day. So the more focused we are on our goals and we're looking at them every day, we're going to become more positive. It'll come to us faster and more easily. So the first thing is get crystal clear on what it is you want. Write it down. Put your goals in writing. Because when they're in writing, they're infinitely more powerful. And every day, look at that. And be grateful for what you have right now. If it's the job that you're looking for, like I said, get your resume in order. But don't be sucky at your workplace. You've got to keep a high vibrational attitude. You know, get another job. But the whole thing is, is that when you get that new job, how are you going to show up? Are, are you going to have healthy boundaries this time? Because as we do one thing is how we do everything. So if we didn't have healthy boundaries at this job and we're being taken advantage of, something's going to have to shift in ourselves to create something different in the next relationship, in the next job. And, you know, it's all about relationships, isn't it? It's all about our relationship with ourself. How do you feel about you? Do you love yourself? I hope you do. And if you don't, remember, book that free session. I would love to help you love yourself fearlessly. So I am Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. I am a lover of life, a healer of hearts, and I help you heal your life, your heart, and fall in love with you. I'm Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget my self-love quiz on my website, Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. And I also have a depression quiz there that you can see. Do I have depression? Check it out. And um, do please do share this video if it helped you. Much love to you. Mwah! Have a great day.